the some of the most popular and most uh, frequented by the residents. Mm -hmm. So that's how we chose, and we've gotten to know the store owners over the years since we've been implementing the Chelsea neighborhood plan. And um, you know, there's a lot of different markets, but these were the ones that don't you know, highlight. show the residents that they can shop local and not have to go offshore. Um, they can be able to support these passionate people who came here and they have an amazing story. So being able to support them in their business is a way to help provide economic growth to the community. So um, educating the residents uh, that live around here about what's available where they may not have otherwise gone into the store. We want to kind of break down the walls between the business owners and different cultures and the residents and be sure that residents uh, have the opportunity to support our local businesses. Uh, we hear a lot that Atlantic City is a food desert and there are uh, challenges and, and sometimes you can't find everything you need, but there certainly are a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables that can be purchased in our stores. And uh, I've been shopping exclusively in uh, the markets in the neighborhood, and it, it's totally doable. Every once in a while, I need to order something on Amazon or something. There's a lot of products in the stores that we're highlighting uh, that would serve the residents. Thank you. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. Mostly, yeah. I mean, I see uh, mm -hmm. some of the customer come a couple of times a day, three, four, five yeah. times a day, you know. Yeah. Oh, and also we have a, like, people come from uh, EST, Bazenville, Africa, and Galloway. We have, okay, you know, because those are like Indian, Pakistani, Asian people, and they know they need certain uh, items. They don't get there, so they have to come in Atlantic City anyway. So mm -hmm. you know, this store or the other stores, that you were looking for? Like, oh, I mean, like, when we start planning the business, it was a little bit difficult because still the pandemic was on, and I had to buy almost all my equipment online because it was difficult to find any stores open because like the other store when I opened, I go personally choose the items. It was not easy. Also, the it was difficult to find uh, the inventories because you know the supply chain problem during the pandemic mm -hmm. so the like, inventory was uh, really really uh, short in the market so and finding as a new business to find it uh, channel of the supply it was it was not easy you know mm -hmm. people come in for besides like meat and fish oh like like uh, i mean we have uh, Frozen vegetable also. We have uh, varieties of tea, tea bags, loose teas, coffees, juices. Uh, like we take, like also, I mean, with last six months we take the week. We are under week program, which is a woman in front program, mm -hmm. uh, like a state subsidized. I mean, uh, so we have that program. People buy those items. And then we have, I mean, kulfi, which is uh, like an Indian flavor ice cream. Mm -hmm. uh, this is very popular, especially summertime, hard selling item. Uh, we sell a lot of produce. I would say, like, produces after uh, meat and fish, produces number third category in our place. Okay.